Welcome to our doctor channel, your destination for reliable medical information, breakthrough research, and insightful discussions on all things health-related. As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, there isn't a cure for HIV. However, research is ongoing, and there have been significant advancements in treatment and management. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, has been successful in controlling the virus, allowing people with HIV to lead healthy lives. To get the most recent information, I recommend checking reputable sources like the World Health Organization, WHO, or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. They provide updates on the latest developments in HIV research and treatment. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, treatment typically involves the use of antiretroviral therapy, ART. ART is a combination of medications that target different stages of the HIV life cycle, helping to control the virus's replication and prevent the progression to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Here are the key components of HIV treatment. Antiretroviral medications, ARVs. 1. Nucleoside-slash-nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs, these drugs interfere with the reverse transcriptase enzyme, which is essential for HIV replication. 2. Non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NERTES, these drugs also target reverse transcriptase but in a different way than NRTIs. 3. Protease inhibitors, PIES, PIES block the protease enzyme, which is necessary for the final steps of HIV replication. 4. Integrase strand transfer inhibitors, INSTES, these drugs block the integrase enzyme, preventing the viral DNA from integrating into the host cell's DNA. Combination therapy. 1. ART typically involves a combination of different classes of antiretroviral drugs. 1. This combination is often referred to as highly active antiretroviral therapy, HART, or combination antiretroviral therapy, CART. 2. Using a combination of drugs helps to reduce the likelihood of drug resistance and increases the effectiveness of treatment. Treatment Initiation 1. HIV treatment is usually initiated based on the individual's CD4 cell count and viral load. 2. CD4 cells are a type of immune cell, and monitoring their levels helps gauge the immune system's health. 3. Viral load measures the amount of HIV in the blood. Monitoring and adherence. 1. Regular monitoring of CD4 cell counts and viral load helps healthcare providers assess the effectiveness of treatment. 2. Adherence to the prescribed medication schedule is crucial for the success of HIV treatment. 2. Missing doses or not following the prescribed regimen can lead to treatment failure and the development of drug-resistant strains of the virus. Side effects and management. 1. Antiretroviral medications can have side effects, and their severity varies among individuals. 2. Common side effects include nausea, fatigue, and changes in lipid levels. 3. Healthcare providers work closely with patients to manage side effects and adjust medications if necessary. It's important to note that while ART is highly effective in controlling HIV, it is not a cure. People living with HIV typically need to take these medications for life. Research continues to explore new treatment options and, ultimately, a cure for HIV.